Hey, what's up? Alex here. 2022 has been a very good year for the robot vacuum market. Earlier this year in Singapore, we have seen a couple of models with the base station that is able to do auto empty together with mop self cleaning. To date, if I'm not wrong, globally there are about 5 of such robot vacuums now. For today, we are going to have a look and compare the one from Xiaomi and Dreamy. On my right is the one from Xiaomi, which doesn't seem to have a model name for it. They just name it Mijia Omni Robot Vacuum Mop. This was released a few months back. It's a China version. You can get this in Taobao. I've been very curious to check this out because of its very affordable price point. On my left is the Dreamy L10S Ultra. For those that are not aware, Dreamy is part of the huge Xiaomi ecosystem of brands and they are positioned as more of their premium range of products. This is a global version and locally distributed. You can get this via Shopee or Lazada with 2 years local warranty support. This I would say is arguably the most complete automated robot vacuum that is available. I've used each of these only for about a week plus. Although the duration is not very long, but I try to test out every aspect of these robots and share with everyone whatever I know. Mainly my experience using them and my overall recommendations at the end of the video. Okay, first up, let's put aside the base station first and focus on just the robot itself. At first glance, I am pretty disappointed that the Dreamy didn't stick with the D-shaped design like their W10 morphing robot. So both here are round in shape. Color-wise, the Xiaomi is actually a bit off-white, especially when you put them side by side, you can tell the difference. In terms of navigation, both are using the LiDAR LDS technology with their own AI sensors. I'm not sure whether the Xiaomi one has a camera over here, but for the Dreamy one, it's very obvious because on the map, you'll be able to see images of the obstacle objects detected at specific spots in the house. Plus, you also have the feature to turn on camera monitoring. And I must say the camera quality is really super clear and very responsive. So far, no incident of the robot getting stuck for the Dreamy, but for the Xiaomi, there are a couple of occasions where it got stuck. First time is at my working desk area and my secret lab chair. The second time is under my TV console entangled by the cables running behind. I'm not sure whether it's by luck, but the overall experience is that the Dreamy is better with their navigation and obstacle detection. For the main roller brush, the Xiaomi is using the traditional Bristol brush while the Dreamy went with the rubber brush. I wouldn't say for certain which type is better in terms of cleaning performance because other factors like suction power and airflow all play a part. But one thing for sure is the rubber brush is easier to maintain when you want to remove all the entangled hair around versus the Bristol brush which you will need to use the cutter and slowly remove all the hair around. Both of these robots go with a spinning mop pad which is definitely what I prefer over a piece of cloth. But the material quality on the mop pads are different as you can see here with a close up. It's hard to describe the difference but I would say the Dreamy has a more rough texture to it while the Xiaomi one has a softer, smoother material. Both of these are able to leave up their mop pads when in contact with carpet or when the robot is traveling from point A to point B, it's not dragging the mop pads all the way. I'm seriously very impressed with this. So Roborock no longer has this as their unique feature. Both of these are able to mop hard floors and vacuum carpet all within one cleaning cycle. Houses that have lots of carpets will love this feature. Other than that, the rest of the things are pretty much the same. They are about the same height. The dust box they use are exactly the same with one opening at the side for the auto empty suction. Then the point where the dust is sucked from the robot to the station is over here at the side of the robot. Then over here are the charging points and water inlet to clean the mopping pads. Both of their battery capacities are the same at 5200 mAh. A full charge takes about 6 hours. Let's talk about vacuum performance. In terms of suction power, the Xiaomi comes with 4000 PA while the Dreamy is 5300 PA. This is probably the highest on paper in the market now. I'm someone that uses the default setting and just let it increase by itself when in contact with carpet because the higher the suction, the noisier it gets. For normal hard floors, both are okay with the default setting. The difference comes at the carpet. For Dreamy, it performs much better with that higher suction power. For Xiaomi, I can visually spot some hair that is still on the carpet after it vacuums. In terms of noise level, if we compare on the default setting, the Xiaomi is also louder. I'll let you hear the difference.
Okay, now let's check out their base station. Both of them are able to do auto dust empty, auto mop cleaning, and very importantly, auto drying of the mop pads. Appearance wise, both of them are exactly the same size and very compact if you compare with the other brands. And one of the reasons why they can be so compact is because they go with a much smaller water tanks. How much clean water is used depends on your total effective cleaning area, the mop setting you set, and how frequent you want the robot to return and clean the mopping pads. For my case, I like to have it clean my kitchen area twice, and for each of the cleaning cycle, the robot will perform the self-cleaning four times in total. That will consume about half of the water tank. So at most, every two days, I will have to refill the clean water tank and pour away the dirty water. It's actually a good practice not to keep the dirty water for too long, else there will be a smell coming out after some time. The Dreamy does come with one more auto function, and that's auto dispensing of the cleaning solution. The packaging comes with the solution, which you will attach it in between the two tanks. The Xiaomi does come with a bottle of the solution, but you will need to manually pour that in and thoroughly mix that inside the clean water tank. This is considered a consumable item. Within the app, you are able to check how much is used. For each of my cleaning cycle, it consumes about 4%. So estimate about after cleaning 25 times, I will need to replace one. So roughly once every month. I realize whether you use the cleaning solution or not will affect the smell of the mopping pads and the dirty water tank as well. Because I didn't use any cleaning solution for the Xiaomi, I can really smell the difference here. Okay, for the auto empty dust, they are both located in this middle section. Opening up this compartment for the Dreamy, at the back of it, you can find a housing for the cutter. But for the Xiaomi, there isn't, which is a bit weird because you will actually need the cutter more for the Xiaomi because it is using the traditional Bristol brush. Both of their packaging comes with an extra spare dust bag. After the auto dust empty process, I don't see any visible leftover debris inside the internal dust box but there are always a few hair strands that are stuck at the opening for the both of them. Next, for mop cleaning, both of their cleaning stations look exactly the same and work exactly the same as well. It gets dirty after a week, so I suggest to clean it once every week. So for the maintenance cleaning, you can short press the home button at the top to have the robot leave the station. Then you can remove this component and wash it thoroughly under a sink. Then you can long press the home button again for it to dispense water to the cleaning area, then start cleaning it. Once done, press the button again to drain out the water. The difference between the two comes at the settings for the robot to come back to do the self-cleaning. For the Xiaomi, basically it comes with three levels of options for the frequency. It's very vague, then you just simply choose one of them. For the Dreamy, you can have more options and control, so you can either set it to clean after every room or by area. If you choose by area, you can even set exactly what is the square meter you want instead of a fixed preset. So for example, let's say my total cleaning area is 70 square meter. I can then set 24 square meter because I want it to just self-clean 3 times. Similarly for the auto drying feature, the hot air is there to kill away all the germs and bacteria and also to make sure that the mopping pads don't give a smell after some time. So very important. For the Xiaomi, you can't change the duration, it's fixed at 2 hours. For the Dreamy, you have the option to set either 2 or 3 or 4 hours. So the question is whether 2 hours is sufficient for the mop pads to be completely 100% dry. The answer is no, but close. I would say it's about 90% dry. Then it's up to individual whether you want a longer drying duration for it to be 100% dry. Finally, let's talk about the app integration and user experience because to me, this is quite a huge difference. For the Xiaomi, of course, you have to go with the Xiaomi Home app. And since this is a China-only product, you have to have the region setting at mainland China. Every time you launch the app and you want to set something, you have to wait like at least 10 seconds for it to finish loading the data. It also took me quite some time initially setting up the rooms and no-go zones. It just feels like the app is just not saving the changes. But eventually, it's done. But since it's on China server, you can't have it integrated to Google Home as well. You have to use their Xiaoi smart speaker. Compare this to Dreamy. For Dreamy, you can have the option to use either the Dreamy Home app or the Xiaomi Home. If you choose to use Xiaomi Home, you can set the region setting to Singapore because this is an international product. But for me, I'll prefer to go with the Dreamy Home app. The UI everything is just much better. Google Home also has the Dreamy app integration, so you can add it in as per normal. Then you can use any Google-enabled smart speaker to control it. 
Another plus point for the Dreamy is the map creation. I'm honestly impressed at how accurately it's able to map out all the rooms for me for the first time. Again, I want to emphasize the app experience is actually quite a huge difference. If I were to give a score out of 10, I would give the Xiaomi a 4 and Dreamy an 8. Again, also considering all the limited settings for the Xiaomi. Okay, now for my general overall recommendations. From what I see, these two robot vacuums are actually a better option compared to their competition. Firstly, their mod pads can be raised. Secondly, they have auto drying. These two points by itself are quite a deal breaker already. The Xiaomi is a very good budget option if you don't care about things like warranty support and the app experience is not important to you. The Dreamy is very similar to the Xiaomi in many ways but with some upgrades like the rubber brush, front facing camera, the auto dispensing of the detergent and it also provides more customization settings for you. I understand some of you are kind of waiting for a robot that has the auto drainage system for the water tanks. But personally, I don't think this will come to the international market so soon. It is quite a troublesome setup and for the company to push this worldwide, I can foresee that it is quite a challenge ensuring that the water piping works well for all the countries as compared to just ensuring for China alone. So if you are considering getting a robot vacuum or upgrading one this year, I would suggest not to keep waiting. I hope this video helps you in some ways to make your purchase decision for your robot vacuum. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!